please be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Now let's get it. Let's go. My girls are back. My girls are back. Real Housewives of Potomac. I am so excited to watch these um the show again. Look, my my favorite girl on the show is Karen. I love me some Karen. I know that she is not perfect. She's super feisty, but for some reason, I really like her. Uh, especially when that wig was trying to run away from her on the last season, she just had me rolling. Um, and if I was her, I noticed that Giselle is trying to get back into her life. If I was her, I would have took them cookies from um, the girls and would have told her, yeah, be gone and never come back. Because I, I don't think Giselle is a good friend. Now, I don't know if you guys were able to stomach this. Luckily for me, I didn't eat prior to watching this scene. I had to close my eyes when I was watching Ashley and her husband, Michael, do that sex or flirtatious or whatever that was. I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it. I'm like, oh, hell no. I ain't feeling this. It was just, it felt awkward, you know. It just didn't match. It didn't match. I just didn't get it. I don't really see them as a couple. You know how some people you see and you be like, yeah, they make a cute couple and they got great chemistry and you could just tell, like you can just feel that vibe from them. But they're actually in Michael's relationship. I just don't, they don't match in any way. And I'm not even talking about, you know, color, race or whatever. I'm just, or age which I do feel like the age difference, I mean, you could see it. And it's just, it's a major difference. And the chemistry, I just don't, I just, I'm just not buying it. Um, and some people are like, okay, well, you know, that money match, that money, <laughs> that bank account match. And I guess if I had a dollar sign vision of on his face the whole time, then I'll be like, okay. But... I just personally couldn't be with somebody who I just wasn't physically attracted to. But different strokes for different folks. Now, he always rubbed me the wrong way when they had those gay rumors out about him being in a gay club. I would not want to hear about my husband being in a gay club and him smacking dudes' butts, um, you know, that would rub me the wrong way, too. It's like, what is that about? Why are you touching on other men? And why are, you out here in the, why are you out here embarrassing me? And then with these sexual allegations, the sexual assault allegation, oh, my gosh, it would be a wrap. It would be a wrap, okay? Off to the next. Off to the next, which I think her and the chef, I low-key... I low-key hope they kind of like hooking up. Isn't that wrong for me to say that? But they, they match more to me. I think they will make a cute couple. And um, I'm just feeling like he's a handsome dude. And I'm just like, yeah, go get it, Ashley. Go get that. <laughs> Congratulations to Monique. She's had her baby. Um, I remember when she first came on the show, she was saying how she couldn't do this and how she couldn't do that. Like she was so tired and, you know, maybe it wasn't enough time in the day or something and how her house, I'm sorry, her mansion was too small to, uh, raise kids. And I found that to be funny because, oh, she used to talk about how she needed a maid. And I think she only had at the time one or two kids but did not have a regular job. And, um, you know, back in the day, some of our parents used to really go in, work full-time jobs, come home, cook full meals, and help you with your homework, and did not complain the way some people complain these days. And I'm sure it was hard for them, but it just amazes me when people get money, they don't, um, they just feel like they can't do it. When you know you can, when you know that you was probably raised by someone who did it for you, and you was raised in a house that was five times small. At least three drinks. Oh, did you feel like she was 
drunk? When we left out. I was a little drunk. Right. And I was sipping on um, a Moscow Mule, and I said, I didn't like it. And I said, bring me a martini. He brought me one. We sat at the bar, and we had another martini. I was good before I left. I normally can go five martinis before I start throwing up. That's, but, that's but, cool, but you shouldn't be driving like that. Are you? I was not drunk. Just because you think that you're okay. You never cop came in, you blew. I think I would have been fine. Well, let's check out this flashback of what I call an epic read when Giselle got read by Monique. They're looking for a home in Potomac, Maryland. You don't have a home? I have four homes. Oh, Candace, girl. I'm, girl, <laughs> you need to either stop complaining about your mom or... Get ready to live with you and your husband's um, finances. Live within those means. Because I don't think you're going to have a perfect situation there. Either you're going to be unhappy because your mom is controlling you, but you want her money. Or you're going to be unhappy because you are now having to live a different type of lifestyle because you and your husband don't have that same type of money to give you the life that you want so either way it's like eh, which one is worse um as far as the mom not wanting her uh the, the son the brother to come to the wedding i can't really be mad at her you know i don't really know like eh, that gotta be really painful for the man that you was with to betray you like that and have a child by someone else now why it is that she stayed with the man and had candace i mean luckily she did because candace wouldn't be here but i'm saying she still stayed with the man and maybe she thought she could do it maybe she thought it would get better and it just never did so i can't really be mad at her for not wanting him at this wedding especially if she paid for it but also i don't i don't see anything wrong with candace having a relationship with her brother because the brother had nothing to do with any of that you know and i think they should have a relationship but i also don't necessarily feel like the mother necessarily needs to know everything that's going on with them. She doesn't want to hear it, and that's okay, you know? But, yeah. I just want Candace to not have the same storyline as she's been having with the whole, you know, financial situation. Just get your own, girl. And, you know, again, I don't even, I don't see nothing wrong. Because I know some people, like, you know, say, well, some of the ladies have made comments that you know because her mom is taking care of her and honestly it's the same situation as a man taking care of a woman in a way when she doesn't have her own because if he if he decides to leave her she doesn't have anything in her name you know that money is his money not her money because at the end of the day he's the main breadwinner and that house could be in his name and you know she's going to be living a different lifestyle if they were to break up so i just feel like it's nothing wrong with getting support from whoever so but i just feel like I, if you're going to complain about it try to figure out a way to make it not as bad and, and if that means to get your own money and to try to get your business going i think she has a wig line to get that going so you can be just as successful then do that like do that push for that even harder judging me for what my mother and what my family has done for me Actually, personally like, i really don't, don't care don't care i don't, at all. Really, I don't understand I really because at all. both of you have really been like <laughs> kept at you don't even know you're me. both kept you don't know me either don't but you're both kept <laughs> you're both kept <laughs> Sharice and Giselle are hypocrites. Yes, my mother helps me with things, but at least I don't have to depend on no man who will leave me with nothing to show for it. Where did she come from in the first place? I just want to know. Because I, can, I came from Jesus. Right. I can't wait to see what the season bring with the rest of these ladies because you know we high key like that drama. So stay tuned for the rest of my reviews. Bye.
thirsty. There's just so many questions. What do I have to hide? You're unhappy because Michael really don't love you. Her life is a mess. Yes. Oh. Are you okay with what Michael did? Michael likes big butt. I cannot lie. I'm saying that it did not happen. You're lying. We know that. You're putting out bullshit. You can get out. I'm in your mama's house right now. I'm not talking about my mother. Get that bullshit out of my mother's house. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.